concern about the fighting that has degraded the security. The international community is extremely frustrated uh, with the obstruction of UN peacekeeping operations uh, that has gone on for, for too long. It has been extremely difficult for the UN to do its work here, whether that's the work of being out and about and patrolling on the streets in the hopes of protecting civilians who might be vulnerable or just the work of having humanitarian access so that you can feed people who are in certain parts of this country at grave risk of famine. We've all been very alarmed uh, by the killing of civilians that has occurred and a surge in the reports of sexual assault being carried out uh, against uh, people in South Sudan, South Sudanese, uh, in very large numbers, and also, of course, uh, international personnel. Uh, some of those reports, as you know, have uh, been f filed uh, on the basis of claims made about attacks that occurred right outside some of the UN uh, protection of civilian sites. The important thing about this visit from our standpoint as government of the council, different countries, with an opportunity to get away the best way forward, uh, the best way of averting further destabilization and giving that peace agreement a chance to take hold, giving the civilians a chance to receive the food that they vitally need, but more importantly to get back to planting uh, and taking care of their own destinies. Uh, one of the most important ways to do that is to allow the regional protection force that has just been authorized uh, to be deployed. This was the force um, with a set of tasks specified in Resolution 2304, providing for free and safe movement in Juba, supporting the protection of vital infrastructure, and preventing threats against civilians. Discuss the truth among ourselves. We, to you. we have a lot of dire situations in the world. This is one of the worst. And we are prepared as the international community to continue to invest in standing with the people of South Sudan. Uh, but we need the government of South Sudan to do its part and allow the UN and the humanitarian community uh, to be the partners that they really want to be uh, again to the South Sudanese people. When uh, we were explaining our votes after the vote, this uh, South Sudanese sovereign uh, integrity was uh, paramount. You accepted, in principle, the deployment. One paragraph of the uh, Igat Pisco made it abundantly clear that this deployment will be done in collaboration with uh, South Sudanese government.